Hello learners welcome back to our youtube channel robo army we have already built a smart car parking system using a seven segment display to show the available parking slots today we will take that project a step further and use a 16 by 2 lcd display with an i2c module you may ask why switch to an lcd display well while the seven segment display serve its purpose by showing the number of available slots A 16 by 2 LCD display allow us to display more detailed information, not just numbers but also text such as parking full or welcome. Let's take a quick look at what we need to build this project. Arduino Uno as the controller, two IR sensor, one to detect entry of cars and second will detect the exit of cars. Servo motor to open and close the gate. 16 by 2 LCD display with I2C module to show detail message and available parking slots. One breadboard, one USB cable to upload code, a double battery holder with a DC power jack and switch, two rechargeable batteries, some jumper wires. Before we move on, let's take a look at the circuit connection step by step. Firstly, take the Arduino board and the breadboard. Connect the 5 volt pin from the Arduino to the positive power rail on the breadboard and connect the GND pin from the Arduino to the ground rail on the breadboard. Take IR sensor 1 that will detect the entry of the car. Insert male to female jumper wires in it and connect its VCC to the positive power rail on the breadboard and GND to the ground rail. Then connect its out pin to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Take IR sensor 2 that will detect the car exit and similarly connect its VCC and GND pins to the breadboard as done earlier. Then connect its out pin to digital pin 4 on the Arduino. Now take the servo motor and connect male to male jumper wires in it. Connect the brown wire to the ground rail on the breadboard. Connect its red wire to the positive power rail. Then connect the orange wire to digital pin 3 on the Arduino. Take the I2C module and the LCD display and carefully align their pins. Now take the male to female jumper wires and insert them in the module. Connect VCC to the positive power rail. Connect GND to the ground rail of the breadboard. Connect SDA to A4 pin on Arduino and SCL to A5 on the Arduino. Again verify your connections according to the circuit diagram. With our circuit setup, it's time to write some code. Download the library and code files using the link given in the description below. Now open the code file if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. In this project we will be using three libraries. Well library to handle I2C communication and liquid crystal underscore I2C library to control the LCD display. Servo dot H library to control the servo motor. Here we create an LCD object name LCD specifying its I2C address 0 cross 27 and dimension 16 cross 2. This creates a servo object my servo1 that will be attached to control our gate. These variables define the digital pins where our two IR sensors are connected. IR1 detects car entering the parking area, IR2 detects car's exit. This stores the total number of parking slots set initially to 4. These flags are used to ensure we only detect the car once it enters or exits, avoiding repeated signals. We initialize the LCD display and turn on its backlight for visibility. Pin mode function sets up the IR sensor as input device to detect cars. My servo dot attach three function attaches the servo motor to pin three and sets its initial position to 100 degrees, which is the closed gate position. LCD dot print function displays an introductory message Arduino parking system for two seconds when the system starts. This is where the actual car parking system operates. Detecting a car entering the parking lot, digital read IR1 function reads the value from the first IR sensor. If a car is detected, sensor output goes low. We proceed. The system checks if there are available slot. If there are, the flag is set to one to indicate that a car has entered. The servo motor rotates to zero degree, opens the gate. The slot count is decreased by one. If no slots are available, the LCD displays a sorry. parking full message for 3 seconds before clear detecting a car leaving the parking lot when the sensor ir sensor detects a car leaving the flag is set and the slot count increase by 1 the servo rotates to 0 degree to open the gate for the car to exit now resetting the servo and flags after both sensor triggers 
Once both air sensors have triggered, indicating the car has passed through the system and servo returns to the 100 degree position close gate and the flags are reset. The LCD continuously shows the welcome message and display the number of available slot in real time. And that's it. Now upload the code by following some instructions. Connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using a USB cable. Then select port and board in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now upload the code by clicking the upload button. You can see the sketch is first verified by the compiler and then uploaded to the Arduino. Now power the Arduino by using your battery pack via DC power jack. Here how our smart parking system works. When the system powers on, the LCD displays a welcome message and the servo motor sets the gate to a closed position. When a car arrives, IR sensor 1 detects it. The system checks if the parking slots are available. If slots are free, the LCD shows the available number and the servo opens the gate. The slot count decreases by 1. If the parking lot is full, the display is parking full and the gate remains closed. When a car exists, IR sensor 2 detects it, the gate opens again and the slot count increases by 1 on the LCD, indicating a vacant spot. Hence, we have created a smart parking system that efficiently manages parking slots. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.